here comes the infantry. It gets go. Come on. Yes, this is exactly what we want. We want the infantry to be able to take them out. And will they do it? Let's have a look here. Oh, yes. And welcome to Total War Attila, ladies and gentlemen. Medieval Kingdoms 1212. And we've got a custom battle coming your way. And this is going to be part of a historical battle series. We are doing the Hundred Years War, of course, between the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of France. And we are starting with none other than the 1346 battle, the Battle of Crecy, which happened in a little place over here in the north of France, there in Normandy, just over the English Channel with the forces of England, led by King Edward III and his son Edward the Black Prince, decimated the forces of King Louis, no, it wasn't King Louis, King Philippe the VI. Uh, and his soldiers and also the kingdom of Bohemia enjoyed them but for this battle uh, we're not going to choose the kingdom of Bohemia and uh, just through sheer superior battle tactics there and cunningness the English took up a ridge there uh, in Crecy fired down arrow archers after archers these English crossbowmen decimated cavalry charge after cavalry charge I think the uh, the French sent in about 15 cavalry charges and they were just decimated and because of the poor weather there even the French crossbowmen couldn't get any bolts off because the bad weather just destroyed their crossbows but we don't plan on uh, reenacting the battle there uh, you know blow for blow this is total war so anything can happen so uh, yes let's just get underway and who are we take it in there let's have a take a look at the tail of the tape we're of course taking Edward the Black Prince in the heavy shot cavalry ladies and gentlemen and if you notice there all these units are going to be only tier 2 that's right that's because um, as you all know with this mod the tier 2 units are from the 14th century and this battle occurred in the 14th century so it makes sense and we're taking some dismounted English foot knights of course there and uh, but the, the, the main weapon of choice is going to be the longbowmen so we plan on uh, you know trying to do what the uh, King Edward III done but uh, you know they also had like a, a lot of battlements and spikes and stakes and everything to protect them from the cavalry charges and trenches and so forth I don't think we're gonna have that so if we take a look at King Philippe's forces here I mean just have a look at how many chevaliers we've given them my goodness gracious this is going to be very hard we've got one two three four five six seven eight eight units of cavalry there look at their excellent charge bonus we've also given them some sergeant there some dismounted men at arms and uh, of course some crossbowmen uh, they didn't actually have uh, that many crossbow units in the real battle but we're not doing a blow for blow. I've just tried to keep the armies as close as I, as I possibly could uh, to what they were. But with any, uh, any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us start the battle. Oh yes, and here we are. It's 1346, and just take a look at that rain. And it's the Battle of Crazy, ladies and gentlemen, here. And uh, let's just see if we can find a ridge anywhere. Do we have one that we can possibly place our archers upon? I think we might do it here. This looks like a... You know, uh, as good as place as any. What about over here? Do we have a ridge we can place our forces on? Yes, maybe we can get them up here, actually. That actually might be a good idea. I think that the... Uh, oh, hang on. Yes, and maybe we can place our cavalry units and so forth in there. So let's just do that. Let's get our cavalry units. Edward the Black Prince. Uh, we've only got three cavalry units there, so we better use them wisely. And, of course, let us get our archers to let's get four units I guess over on this flank here and we're gonna probably get the rest of them to take up the right flank over here and then we're gonna we want actually let's get them all in loose formation as well let's do that uh, let's get the other ones in loose formation as well let's do that oh yes now what's with the cavalry you know why are the cavalry units still there we didn't mean to do that of course so what we're going to do we've got to put them under some cover in the bushes just a little bit behind there that's what we like to do and uh, of course let us get our infantry let's get uh i think let's get our our foot knights as well let's get uh oh, some of them to hide in the bushes there and of course we'll keep our spearmen up front ready to rock and roll right in the center of the battlefield there we're gonna do that and do we have any more units who are these guys oh yes that's uh one of the foot knights so let's get them there 
Oh yes, here we go, and this is going to be looking very, very interesting indeed. We have any formations that we can possibly use to our advantage there. Skirmish, oh, I think that's for the cavalry units. Okay, not a stress. Well, without any further ado, let us get into our mode there and let us start the battle and get a good measure of the men before the uh, the cavalry, the first cavalry charge by Louis the Six. Of course, let's have a look at our spearmen. Oh my goodness gracious me, have a look at them, they are ready to go. They are well rested, they are glad the rain is out, it's good English weather there. The English like a bit of rain there, as you well know, but they are looking fantastic with the great shields and coat of arms there. We've got the St George flag on them, and uh, let's just see what the enemy are doing. They are making their move slowly, so what we might even do, we just might fast forward it, um, just so to avoid any kind of lull in the battle there, but let's just hope, hope we can uh, recreate some of the glory, that English glory uh, that had happened that many years ago, where these cavalry charges just weren't successful because these fantastic English longbowmen, oh, we've got the Welsh longbowmen there, they, they were there at the battle as well, at the Battle of Crecy, um, and once again, the, the Kingdom of Bohemia was there, but we didn't get the opportunity to use them as it would have just been probably far too many units as well. Um, but this is the Battle of Crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the enemy approaches. Here we go. This is what we like. And how far away are they? Now, we're going to have to separate them. That's what I, I really want. I want to get I want to get these uh, their flanks to get, you know, separate all the men. We don't want to get to a point where their whole army is just charging down the barrel of us. Um, we want to be able to separate them, divide and conquer a little bit, but we've got our cavalry units laying and waiting. Oh, do we have a, an arch unit in here as well? I didn't actually know that. I think we should probably get the, that arch unit out into the field there. I think that might be a good idea. Yes, let's do that. Mercenary Welsh crossbowmen, what are you doing here? You need to be with your men. Whoops. Where are we? Come here. Okay, so we're, we're about getting ready to start now. It is going to be kicking off shortly as, as you can see, a massive French contingent is about to arrive upon our shores there. And we want to be able to drive them in, get their archers, do we want to get the heavy shot? We'll get the heavy shot, and I don't think the far shot is going to be enough to be able to deal with their cavalry units. Let's get into that cinematic mode, that also gorgeous cinematic mode, ladies and gentlemen. And let's just have a look at King Philippe the Sixth's army as they... Oh my goodness gracious, have a look at this army. How good does it look? All right, let's just have a look here. Oh, and King Philippe's men-at-arms are coming there. We've got some spearmen on the, on the flanks. Uh, sorry, on the rear flank, and we've got, of course, the well-dressed Chevalier. Oh, no, they're not the Chevaliers, but they are a, uh, a cavalry. Oh, are they stopping? They are moving. What's going on there? Why are they just going all slow motion? We don't want that. Whatever is going on there with the camera, we don't want that happening. What's going on? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Is there any reason for that? Let's just speed things up a little bit. All right, and here we go. That's a little bit better. Now they're coming. Okay, so they're running fast and the whole army is about to approach us now. And this is what it's all gonna come down to. Can we survive a full frontal assault? It looks like the cavalry might go and charge our archers on the left flank here. But uh, hopefully we can uh, break their ranks with our fine archers. Let us see with these guys. We're going to have to get these guys nice and tight, nice and uh, butchered up there. Let's see what we can do with them. Oh, we've got a uh, create selection group. Now, we don't want loose space. And we want to brace ranks. That's, a, that's probably what we want. We're going to get everyone to brace ranks, a good shield wall. We want to be able to hold the enemy off as long as we possibly can. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. No, we don't want loose spacing, for goodness sakes. We want a shield wall. We want our sergeants up there. That's what we want. We want the sergeants up front. Oh, no, we want the sergeants here. I'd say we want, the, we want to get the spearmen 
there, but we want everyone to be able to hold off these charges as long as possible, and I believe our, our men are going to start firing down at the enemy soon as they make their way up the ridge. Oh, we got kind of lucky with that map there. There was a uh, It's not really the ridge that we, we would have liked. We would have liked to have built some uh, stakes and, uh, you know, some trenches and so forth. But, oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's kicking off here. We've got a cavalry charge. We do have a cavalry charge. And let's not forget where our men... Here we go. Let's not, oh, look at all these archers. They are about to fire upon the knights. Maybe we can... Here we go. Come on. Come on. I reckon we're going to have to get one of our cavalry units to come out here and test their metal. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and they've gone. That's okay. Here we go. Yes, and now it's on. It is on like Donkey Kong. And here we go. The archers are doing their job. They're firing down at the enemy. And what's going on? And now we're going to have to send in the good send in a cavalry charge let's see if we can flank them will it work ladies and gentlemen we may have been too late on the uh oh no this, this is a bit of a trouble here we are in a lot of trouble don't worry our foot knights come on man let's get into it french chevaliers get them all right the men are broken and are running for their lives this might be a bit of a problem it is not going well here for the English. I think the French were just too many of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're just going to keep running into us. So what is going on over here? Come on, Spearman. Oh, here we go. And then we just hit. Come on, brace ranks, gentlemen. Let's get into them. Come on, Spearman. Now we've got to be able to fight the Spearman off here. Oh, sorry. We're going to be able to fight the cavalry charges off here. They're bracing ranks and they're doing pretty well. We've got the shield wall over here. Here comes the infantry. Let's go. Come on. Yes, this is exactly what we want. We want the infantry to be able to take them out. And will they do it? Let's have a look here. And the spearmen are giving it to them large here. But the Frenchmen aren't going to give up that easily. Oh, my God. And they're piling in. They, oh, look at this battle. It is on like Donkey Kong. Yes, here we go. We're going to have to get, of course, the Black Prince to fight there. And of course, we're going to have to get one of our units to come in there and help them. And let's get the... Where are the foot knights? Oh my god, and they're, they're, the French are killing us. They're absolutely doing it. This is not the way I was hoping it was going to happen. Okay, so what other units do we have in here? Okay, our cavalry units are on there. Now let's just have a look. Here we go. We're going to have to... Get our men into the battle. Here we go. All right. Come on. Here we go. And the French knights are absolutely destroying our archers. My God, in the real battle there, I think it would have been about 15, 15 charges that failed on the part of uh, King Louis the Philippe. Just charge after charge. But look at how good these knights are looking. These chevaliers. Our men are, what are our men doing? Oh my God, it's just chaos all over the battlefield. I don't even know where to command. Let's go there, gentlemen, come on. All right, let's just, just take a look what's going on over here. The archers are still firing away. Let's have a look. Oh my God, look at all these cavalry units. Oh no, goodness gracious me. They've managed to get through our, uh, our infantry. Now it is up to our archers. Maybe we can get the archers to pull back. No, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely disgraceful. Come on, English. And here we go. The French knights are in there. Or are they our English right there? I think they're our English knights, actually. Yes, come on there. That is what we want. Let's get a good look at the action. Oh, my goodness. There. Can we get into it? And the English, are, oh, we've just been scared off. Let's just take a look what's happening on the right flank here. Oh my goodness, here we go. Come on, English foot knights, get into them. Let's at least, who are these guys? Are they us? Yes, they are too. Oh my goodness, we've, we've... come on, yes, here we go. 
Who have we got there bearing down on them? We've got the uh, the Hanseric Lancers, is it? Hanseric Lancers, oh, and here we go. We've got to take this unit out here. What are we doing? The Foot Knights are ready to go. Let's just punch the shit out of these guys. Yes, come on there, Foot Knights. Here we go. This is the Battle of Crecy I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Death to France. That guy's just hit the deck. There is no mercy on the battlefield here. Look at these guys. They are ready to rock and roll. That's a great shot, by the way. And uh, let's just take a look. Oh, when the have the French come in and to give it to us? Yes, they all know the sergeants are on the ground there. Let us get these foot knights to fight these guys in the rear. Come on, foot knights, get into them. Oh my goodness, the cavalry charges come straight in there. And it looks like we've managed to break some of the French's ranks there, but they are on their horses and they are really giving it to us. Come on, King, where's the Black Prince? The Black Prince needs to get in there, lift the morale, but it doesn't look like it. We are losing men left, right, and center. It's just that French Knights have just really done a number on us. My goodness. Oh, a decisive defeat. And let's just end the battle right there. That was absolutely terrible at the Battle of Crecy. Okay, so the CPU deployed um, well over 2,000 units uh, to our 2,000. Uh, let's just have a look here. So what is that? That's about 2,600. So 2,600 units that they, uh, 26, 2,700 give or take against ours so they had a lot more men than ours but our army like the english army <clears throat> was primarily well it was half our our um our archers now compare that to the the french chevaliers there the cavalry there was just too much from we couldn't stop the charges uh which was unfortunate we couldn't get too high of a ground up and they just crushed our forces so the day is uh, King Louis the Sixes. It, it wasn't the Battle of Crecy that we all know and love from the 14th century. Uh, we absolutely got defeated. But if you do like this battle, please leave a comment. I'm going to do all the major battles from the Hundred Years War and, of course, other historical battles down the track. Thank you very, very much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff you know you're supposed to do. Um, but thank you very, very much for watching, and I shall see you on the next video.